Hey guys, welcome to another product feedback video. As you guys know, the iPad mini has come out, so we're going to be giving a comparison in terms of performance between this one and the iPad 3rd gen. This is not the 4th gen with the A6 newer processor, it's still just the standard A6, where this uses the A5 processor, but does it actually really make much of a difference? We shall find out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to run Geekbench on both devices and we're going to see how they actually compare in terms of score wise. Let's have a look. Okay folks, so this is the comparison on the Geekbench setup. As you can see here, the iPad mini scored quite well in comparison to the older generation iPad larger version. Um, pretty much nearly even, this is just a little bit more power, but as tested out before when this was reviewed, I believe most of it goes to powering the actual retina display, where I think the power in this can actually be used for applications. So let's try something else out. We'll just do a quick browser test. We'll load up uh, The Verge, which is a very intensive website. We'll just quickly type that in on both of these devices. As you can see here, typing on both is actually pretty easy. I don't mind the smaller keyboard, but let's go. They're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network. They're as far apart. Everything's been cleared, all the cache and everything. So we're going to see how quickly it can load up the, uh, the website. Come on. Who do you reckon is going to win? What do you guys prefer anyway? Let me know in the, the comment section below. Do you prefer the mini iPad or the larger iPad? Personally, I would love this to have a retina display. This is a much better form factor. I reckon this is a, a really nice setup. But for many of those looking for a... Uh, wow, the, it's being really slow here. I don't know if that's got something to do with my internet or the way that the devices are going. But uh, it's not going that quickly. Oh! There we go, the one on the right managed to load up the web page first and then the one on the left did catch up and load up the rest. So they're not too bad, pretty similar and I believe both you can flick through, pinch and zoom. There's not much lag or anything like that on both, so that's pretty good. Alright, so we're also going to check out how Asphalt HD loads up and which one can load up quicker. The one on the right just a little bit quicker, so the larger iPad managed to get it up a bit faster. We'll tap on the screens on both and we'll press the skip button and hopefully we shall see that one a bit quicker but that could have been just my pressing I try to make it as even as possible but it doesn't seem to be a world of difference I've been using both going back and forth and they do seem to perform very similar so you're not missing out really in the performance sector but obviously this does have the higher resolution iPad screen so it as you can see here, not a world of difference, and they both load everything very smoothly. So there's not a huge performance difference, and the iPad mini does hold its own quite well. Thanks for watching, Muhammad out, and peace be with you.